Good day everyone! Ako po si Mix Bustos para sa inyong Fast Break Sports Balita. History has been made. Alex Ayala is the first Filipino to win a Grand Slam Junior Singles title. Ayala beat her opponent Lucy Havlikova in straight sets noong linggo para makuha ang US Open Junior Singles title. Nagsimula ang match with Ayala being down 1-2 but won 5 straight games to take the first set. Noong second set naman, lumamang si Havlikova 4-3 pero nakabawi si Ayala then eventually won it in the same set. What's remarkable is Alex did not drop a set sa buong tournament sa loob ng kanyang six matches. Sabi ni Alex sa kanyang post-match interview, her win is for Philippine tennis. On behalf of the USTA, David Haggerty will present the Champions Trophy to Alexandra Iyala. After claiming her trophy sa 2022 US Open Girls Singles, nadagdagan nito ang kanyang two pro championships including the W25 Chiang Rai noong April, three bronze medals galing sa 31st Southeast Asian Games sa Hanoi noong May, at dalawang Grand Slam titles sa doubles. Congratulations, Alex. Filipinos are proud of you. Gallant stand by the Philippine women's national volleyball team as they fought hard but failed to get a win in the 2022 ASEAN Grand Prix. It was a close match all throughout as they went head-to-head with Indonesia Sunday and was close to getting set one. Pero na naig ang veteran experience ng Indonesia national team and seemed like they had all the answers every time the Philippines would spark a run. Wagi ang Indonesia in three sets, 26-24, 25-22 at 25-23. Nakalaban ng Creamland Pilipinas ang Thailand, Vietnam and Indonesia sa ASEAN Grand Prix and settled for the last standing. Third runners up ang Pilipinas sa tournament and brought home 10,000 US dollars. Even though the Philippine team fell short, they still have something to be proud of. Pinangaralan si Kyla Atienza bilang best libero ng 2022 ASEAN Grand Prix. Atienza joined the likes of MVP Pimpichaya Kokram ng Thailand and best opposite spiker Megawati Hangestri Pertiwi ng Indonesia na awarded ng best players in tournament. Napalununan ni Miss Everywhere Don Makandili ang Best Libero Award noong 2019 edition. Samantala, in men's tennis, there is a new sheriff in town. 18-year-old Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz is now the new U.S. champion and men's world number one. Naging emotional si Alcaraz after claiming his first Grand Slam trophy against Casper Rudd sa score na 6-4, 2-6, 7-6 at 6-3 sa 2022 U.S. Open Final sa Flushing Meadows, New York. Secured na rin ang first place niya sa Pepperstone ATP ranking. Nalagpasa naman ni Carlos ang record ni Kevin Anderson na most time plays a Grand Slam since 1999 after spending 20 hours and 19 minutes of court, matapos ang kanyang pagkapanalo sa three consecutive five-set matches. Ang 19-year-old na si Alcaraz ang youngest Grand Slam champion since Rafa Nadal noong 2005 when Nadal won it. Si Carlos din ang youngest US Open titleist since Pete Sampras when he won it in 1990. Ayos isang tennis analyst, Carlos Alcaraz is an animal. Alam mo, all around, he can... He has the physical uh, attributes of Djokovic. Uh, both sides, he's, he's good, decent, serving really well. Uh, he has the endurance of Nadal. Diba? So, parang complete package. Now, in women's basketball, nabiguman ang Gilas women under 18 contra sa Malaysia. With a chance na makapasok sana sa Division A, they took home the bronze medal matapos silang manalo kontra Samoa sa score na 84-68. Pinangunahan naman ito ni newcomer Sumaya Sugapo who finished with 27 points, 6 rebounds, 9 steals, and 2 assists. Nagambag naman sila Luna Ozar na may 15 points and Kristan Yumul with 14. Itong sweet revenge ng Gilas after Samoa won over Gila sa semis ng under-16 in Jordan last June. Nagsimula na ang oldest collegiate league sa buong bansa, ang NCAA or National Collegiate Athletic Association noong weekend. Host Emilio Aguinaldo College fell to Arellano University in a tight-knit battle. NCAA season 97 runners-up Makua Cardinals stunned the San Beda Red Lions with a double-digit win on opening game. Meanwhile, Perpetual Health and CSB Blazers 
won their opening games as well. Currently, Arellano, Mapua, Perpetual, and CSB have entered the win column, while defending champions Letran and San Sebastian have yet to play a game. Tapat kasi maglalaro ang Letran sa opening day, but the team was placed under health and safety protocols last week. San Sebastian is slated to play their first game Tuesday, September 13, habang ang Letra naman will play the first game sa September 14, Wednesday. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to ABS-CBN Sports. Ako po si Mix Bustos para sa inyong Fast Break Sports Balita.